All right, as PayPal integration looms, Paxos CEO sees mass adoption for tokenized assets. So what's going on here? In a panel last week for the London Bullion Market Association, Paxos founder and CEO Charles Cascada, yeah, that's a great name, discussed the growth of Paxos gold-backed ERC-20 token. He mentioned a variety of drawbacks that limit the utility of both physical gold and gold-backed assets exchanged on traditional markets, including limited market hours, high frictional costs inherent in exchanging physical bullion. Because of their superior liquidity, transferability, and availability in 24-hour markets, Cascaria says tokenize gold and other assets as the future. And this only makes sense. So if you're talking about gold, I mean, gold bucks say, you know what, this is a great store of value, and this is really fantastic because you can you can hedge your bet and you can, uh, you know, carry this around. I'm like, no, you can't. I mean, you can, you can carry gold around, but if you're like in a third world country and you're trying to escape some kind of dictator or, or, or some kind of like fascist regime, which is just crushing the, the whole uh, economy and the people in its path, do you really think you're going to get out with some gold in your pocket or you think you're going to get shaken down? Not by, maybe by the government. Or maybe just by people who are, you know, just going through the same hardships you are, like, hey, give me your gold. So, I mean, the same th type of thing can be for any kind of asset. And and one of these, there was a report that we talked about, and it talked about portability. And somebody said a very smart thing. They said, if you can remember 12 words, you can carry your entire fortune in your head. Because that is your passphrase. That's your mnemonic seed phrase uh, for your ledger or for whatever else that you have that you can carry around all your different uh, cryptocurrencies and assets. I thought... That's a perfect analogy. So in this one, portability, I think, is key. Also, if you're trading, look, there's only one desk open 24-7, 365, and it's cryptocurrency. You're not going to find that in the Dow. You're not going to find that in NASDAQ. You're not going to find the S&P 500. It just doesn't happen like that, right? So you need something that is liquid. And guess what's liquid? This, and you can do whatever you want at any time of the day. So on top of that, he says, one major barrier stands in the way, adoption, which only makes sense, right? They can only get so many people to actually adopt. To date, Paxos has tokenized 75 million in gold or 37,000 ounces, which isn't squat. It's a fraction of the estimated 7.3 trillion global gold market. He believes, however, that a 5 to 10 multiplier and assets under management to bring the total tokenized gold market above 1 billion is where the market for tokenized assets would really begin to cook with fire. And for that sector, he's right. I mean, in, in that section, he's right. Like, if we can get some kind of tokenized assets for gold or silver or whatever else you want to tokenize, as far as, like, precious metals, sure, going to do fantastic. I see it a different way. I'm not a... I own gold and a little bit of silver, and I own a lot of Bitcoin. Not like a lot of... Not like grayscale level, but I own a, you know, good amount for, for, for who I am, I would say. And... When I talk about tokenizing assets, like gold is pretty cool, right? I mean, you can do that type of thing. But I think the big future here is real estate, real estate and land. Because here's an example. Let's say you go and you're like, I want to buy a condo in New York on a high rise, right? Well, it's $5 million. Well, that sucks because I can't afford $5 million. So how about if you could tokenize that condo? And then you could say, I don't know, we're going to rent that condo, right? The agreement is we're all going to rent it for X amount of dollars per month or per year or whatever it's supposed to be. So I don't know how much that rent is. I've never lived in a $5 million condo in my life, but it's a lot of money. So if you have a bunch of investors in, into that, let's say you have, I don't know, let's say 150 investors, right? And then they're all tokenized. So then every month, each one of those uh, people, however much percentage that they put in, they get money every month from that asset which is the condo same thing could be it could be for a house it could be for a skyscraper it could be for a strip mall whatever else it is but if you can just tokenize because people know they're supposed to get into real estate with like well shoot i can't get into it because i don't have that much money i got crappy credit and the bank's gonna check on me i got all these problems da, 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 da. well guess what for cryptocurrency and assets, you don't need to have a background check you just need money if you got money hey we'll take it so then you put it in you tokenize it then every month you get a little bit of the pie and uh that my friends is how you retire so that's how i see it i could be wrong let me know what you think in the comment section and uh, that's it for today it's sunday it's a good day to watch a little football at church or whatever or church football whatever you're into and uh that's all we got i would just remind you if you could do me a favor check out my website dan teaches crypto again streamlined simplified uh super fast and easy and i just try to break things down in the simplest way possible to save you time it's 100 percent free you can get started today uh, there's only five modules there's not that much information in there because i condense it to the simplest parts and let me tell you that's the hard part and breaking them down from complex to simple that's what takes the most amount of time and that's what we try to do here so again 
Thanks for uh, sticking with me. I appreciate it. If you like these types of videos, two more is going to pop up. I'm going to definitely put the one about the tax uh, minimization video. You can check that out. And uh, that's all. So thanks for watching. See you on the next one.